No, we had to we had to end a little bit abruptly the last part of this, but this is still under the general heading of overcoming, overcoming the um the the zeitgeist, like overcoming the zeitgeist. First of all, you have to identify. You have to identify and have a knowledge of what we're speaking of. So we had to focus on in the first part some of this right here that you should be familiar with, um, and to make the links and the connections. Now, in order to overcome it, one must overcome it spiritually because it's a spirit. Basic zeitgeist, as it means by connotative translation, the spirit of the age. But in a more etymological translation, um, it would mean the, the age, in that sense, or the, the age of the ghost. In other words, the age of the ghost. Now, what is interesting to us is that the word world is so improperly and misunderstood. And the key of this hinges on the, un the proper understanding, in the word, the proper thought of mind of what world, what's the meaning and the application of world. Even when people talk about New World Order or Iones, and the Zeitgeist uh, video, they also touch on world too, but from a very limited a very limited and somewhat uh, connotative um, perspective. But that was in the religion part. And we already mentioned that the religion part probably was the worst part of the three parts of, um, of uh, Zeitgeist. Now, if you look up the word world here, Old English, uh, world, or world, world humanity. Then next to it says long time, akin to the, I think, old Hungarian world. Right, it's definitely, and then what's interesting, if you look up world etymologically, you'll see that there's a link to werewolf. You understand, this, this, this is making it seem more like a horror movie, but it is. It is. That's why the horror movie is such po so popular. You think it's because you like it. You know, you've been programmed to like it. It speaks about an, an age. On the world, they have an age, mankind. In the basic sense, there is the age of man. And then they flip it in the connotation where on the world they'll flip it and they'll talk about um, planet Earth. But these are two different ideas. The world should be understood in the sense of the system of things. The system of things. How, how can we best explain that? Well, each one must take a certain amount of personal responsibility to, to study and to learn these things for themselves. So before we can really present the overcoming, the, the key elements of overcoming the so-called zeitgeist or the, the, the age of the ghost, the age of the spirit, you understand? And it's not Casper the friendly ghost, although they might use that too. We first have to understand what, what's in a word. This is why we spent the past almost two videos, and they were pretty much full length, an entire lecture over 50, min 50 minutes. I think it was almost an hour trying to get to and present to ones the, the, the meaning of the word because without the meaning of the word, and, and you really have to meditate. The me Remember, it's a, it's a mental extent. The overcoming of it is to be born again, to be regenerated. One has to be regenerated, but the regeneration begins in the spirit of their mind. So one has to learn to actually wash their mind. Some say wash your brain. If you have to start out there, start out with wash your brain. We think it's an excellent uh, video by Freeman Perspective and some of some of um, those who associate with him. Unfortunately, like we said we, we don't know their respective names, but it's a good starting point. Yet, for us, we know that it does not go far enough, but it does present to most people some basic elements of overcoming this so-called um, mind control. In other words, it's, it's, it's a trauma-based mind control, not on an individual level, but on a global level. So who are, who are behind it? Well, the same zeitgeist globalists, because zeitgeist is more than just a video or documentary. It's a whole movement. There's a whole movement behind Zeitgeist and ones like your first black president, because the first black president said it was Clinton. The first African-American president, they say, is Obama. See, they still are playing with your mind. 
movie at the beginning for a proper understanding of the word, of what world means. Because, see, see a lot of people have a, a bad idea. So when one say the Bible says the end of the world, it does mean the end of an age. It does have to do with an age. And in certain particular ages or time periods, there is a general spirit of the age. We must call this the American age. This is maybe the American age that we're in right now. Some people say it's the age of the end of America. And from all signs and indications, not from what people want, but from what it appears to be. And, and, and logically speaking, yes, we are living in an age that's called the end of, end of, um, the, end of the American age, in spite of the black president. In fact, he might be one who takes the fall for being the one at the helm of this particular end of the age. Remember, we're going into 2012. The Mayans have recorded it. We can see biblical signs are right in time. There's an escalation. Many of these signs are overlapping. The frequency is an increasing frequency of these manifestations, both signs from above and signs down here below among men and people, what men and people are doing. And then we have greater signs as well appearing even in the heavens. You know what I mean? So all of these things, when we put it all together, we have to recognize we have to not be conformed to the world. We have to not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. So when the Bible says study and show yourself approved, when it says that, that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free, when it says that in the beginning was the word and understanding the word as the, the logos or the logic, the, the, the reasoning, we have to begin to use what the Almighty has given us, our, some say brains, but we prefer our minds. But we also have to regenerate our minds and, 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 and be born again. It sounds very seemingly religious to a lot of folks, and some people have been turned off with so-called religion through its whitewash version and per perversion, and even some of the pseudo um, byproducts of it has really turned a lot of people off. And it's not that religion so-called is getting worse, but it's a part of what the New World Order conspirators need that to be so. So you're going to hear a lot, of, a lot of other stories where people say, that's why I don't deal with religion, or that's why I don't deal with this, because they, they need to strip people from their God-given power and from that relationship with the Almighty. And Albert Pikey spoke all about that in, 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 his, in his writings, and I forgot the name of his book, too. He has, a, he has a book that he, some Masonic book. I think we have a copy of it. But, you know, once you get a basic general idea of it, we have to spend more time in the B-I-B-L-E and studying and researching you understand the, the, the teachings of his majesty and the testimony of, of his Christ, of our black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, than to just be all caught up on every little Illuminati happening. Once you, once you recognize that what the Illuminati represents is the mystery of iniquity that the Bible speaks about, then you have to recognize that, that the counterbalance of that is the mystery of God in Christ. So, you can't be on the fence. You have to decide where you stand. Some people think, well, I'm not with it. I'm just myself. But no, it doesn't come down to that. It comes down, you're going to have to, if you're on the fence, you're going to get split. You see, and the hypocrites are on the fence because hypocrites are trying to tell both sides, you know, like God, the truth, I'm with the truth, but then I still get down, you understand, with the liars, you know, and the enemies of the truth and the enemies of righteousness. If you play that game, you're going to be split in two like the hypocrites. And there's a lot of folks that, that, that do that because of fear of really standing up for the truth. And this is all a part of the frozen psychological state and a part of the mind control. You know, um, true, some people speaking up for the truth have endangered and jeopardized themselves. But then again, there are already dangers in, in life already. You know, you know what I mean? There, 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 there's, there's things that you have to, you know, um, when, you, when you're afraid 
of the devil, then the devil will become your god or goddess, if, if you please. And that's exactly where we are at right now. So as we said before, we had to pause a little suddenly because we, were, we had to actually recharge um, some of the recording devices and everything. So we said that that pause, pause that, that, that cutoff was kind of sudden, and we just wanted to kind of give it a better, a better closing and then pick up on this particular um, theme as we progress um, further. So the knowledge of the truth is the only thing to really overcome um, the mystery of iniquity in whatever form, shape, or fashion that it might come in. So stay tuned. Y'all willing, more to come. Shalom Rastafari.